I pop by the sailor man. I pop by the sailor man. I talk to the finish, cause I eat my spinach. I pop by the sailor man. I want some kazookas, what hates all kazookas, what ain't on the up and square. I dip some and bump some, and all these are rough some, and none of them get nowhere. If anyone dares it to miss my fist, it's bump and it's wham on her stem. So keep good behavior, that's your one lifesaver, with Popeye the Sailor Man. Welcome to SNN. Welcome to SNN. Good morning, Skyhawks. Today is March 26, 2015. It's a Sky Day, which means start periods 1, 3, and 5. Popeye the Sailor Man loves the food featured in today's foodie news. It's National Spinach Day. Toot toot! toot. The cartoon character Popeye that we showed as part of our intro today was from the year 1934. In the 1930s, U.S. spinach growers credited Popeye with a 33% increase in spinach use. Spinach is one of the healthiest foods a person can eat. That's true. Just half a cup of raw spinach counts as one of the five servings of fruits and vegetables you should eat a day. Spinach is best eaten while it's fresh. It loses nutritional properties just sitting in the fridge. That didn't stop Popeye, who would get a superhuman strength by chugging a can of spinach. You should try that for wrestling. I should. Yeah, right. You should. Get this. People in the medical profession sometimes refer to the biceps bulge symptomatic of a tendon rupture as the Popeye muscle. Yeah, but Popeye has pronounced muscles of the forearm, not the biceps. Biceps are, my biceps are these. That's your shoulder. Call 78293 and tell us the name of the actor who played Popeye in the 1980 movie. The opposite of spinach in this food world must be cookie, cookie dough. dough. Here's Mr. Williams. know that one. Whoa, what happened to my shirt? Because the box? Weird. It's not even green. Wow. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Okay. Colby, I need three names, please. Okay. Huh. I'm not sure what that says. Oh, it's Ariana Wright. Garrett Perkins and Hannah Nguyen, maybe? N-G-U-Y-E-N. Yeah, okay. Those three people, please head down to the LMC. What's up, Day? Tomorrow, we all have an awesome video to share featuring all the fabulous fashions you might you should wear Monday through Friday. Just to get things started, Monday is Pro Day. Mr. Condon will probably dress up as Barney Fife because he's a pro at everything Barney. Miss Pappas is doing a combination of books and bikes. Mr. Burton, skiing. Teacher, Mr. Smith, CrossFit. All outfits and spirit wear must be school appropriate. Also from ASB, this Friday, as in tomorrow, there's a dance. Trop the Beat dance is tomorrow from 3 4 to 4.30. ASB wants us to remind all of you this is positively the last dance of the year. So grab a friend. Or two. And enjoy a relaxing time, dancing or eating, or just hanging out. Rainbow Leos will be provided. There's also a concession stand with pizza, candy, and soda. No spinach. While on the topic of dancing, you should know that you can try out for the CHS dance team. Sign up for the CHS dance team's dance camp. The dance camp will help you decide if you want to go out for the team. The camp is open to all ages with an extra day dedicated to just 8th graders. It will be held April 17th and 18th. Pre-registration is available now. Packets can be found in Ms. the main office or in Ms. Hacker's room 222. Science Olympiad meeting today. State team only. Book news. There were 16. And now they are 8. Book March Madness is down to the following teams. The Maze Runner. Against Divergent. Sisters. Against the one and only Ivan. Fault in Our Stars goes up against The, the Selection. Selection. 
The games between matched in the selection was the closest ever with a score of 272 to 268. The scores are all the books are in the March Madness wall in the LMC. Voting for the Elite Eight is open now. If you need help with voting, see Miss Pappas or go to the Skyridge LMC site and follow the link in the menu. Remember, Live Long and Strong Fitness event is Saturday here at Skyridge. There will be wrestling and basketball, the last cross country meet, and a free barbecue. A fun for all. It's going to be great weather on Saturday. So come on out and be a rocket. Be a rocket? Yeah, have a blast. That's this Saturday. Here at Sky Ridge. Things get started at 9 a.m. Now back to Mr. Williams. My shirt's still weird. Okay. Let's see. Hannah. Hannah tells me that this is not a wolf, but it's it is. Husky. No, it's a wolf. It's a husky. Uh, you just forfeited it. No. Just what would you like to choose? A wolf? Oh. That's a tough choice then. I can give you a wolf. That's that's all I've got for you is a wolf. Okay. Ah, uh, who's up next? I forgot the slips. I forgot who their names were. All right. Good job, Miss Pappas. Penguin? penguin? Take the penguin. Yeah. Did you go to Prune Hill Elementary? No. Oh, okay. I was just curious because you know their mascot is a penguin. So I was just curious. Okay. Which one are you going with, Harry? That's not a husky. Those are wolves, people. Okay. So tomorrow is our turn in day. So make sure that you bring your sales and your money. There will be a box in the dining room when you first get to school. So you can just drop it in the box and then you're done. If you forget to do that, you can bring it down to the office anytime during the day. And if for some reason you forget to bring it tomorrow, we'll even take it on Monday. But we'd prefer to have it tomorrow because that's when we have our counters here to count the money. All right. I will be back for one more draw tomorrow. Uh, it depends on what shirt I'm wearing, I think. Okay. Thank you. From one Mr. Williams... To another. It was Robin Williams who played the role of Popeye in the 1980 movie. Good job to Panel's class from yeah, Mr. Pinnell. Pinnell, sorry. Mr. Um, Pinnell. from Connor and Jackson. A treat. A, treat and, a treat and fake cash will be delivered to you after the show. Check this out. In Crystal Springs, Texas, there's a bigger than life statue of Popeye. But why? They're one of the biggest growers for spinach in the country. That is the news for Sky Ridge Middle School where everybody belongs. Today's thought from poet Robert Frost, who was born on this day. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Remember to follow the code, the sky code. Be safe. Be respectful. Be responsible. And be kind. This has been Ken. And Colby. Have a strong spinach filled toot toot, toot Thursday, Skyhawks. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Begin.